Yeah, guys, some of the people I spoke with at Van Biver Lake say this has been an issue with their water for years. The Van Biver Water Conver Conservancy board chairman tells me he's aware of the situation and they're working to fix it. It's nasty. It really is. Becky Taylor has lived at Van Biver Lake for the last nine years. She says they've had issues with their water the entire time. I get, I get gravel, I get sand, I get rocks. I mean, sometimes when I give the girls a bath, I'm not sure if I should just go give them a bath in the lake. She's one of many who reached out to News 8 about their water at Van Biver. Many of these photos and videos have been taken over the last year or so. Tim Vandegrift is the board chairman of the Van Biver Lake Water Conservancy. He says the system is old and overwhelmed, and that's why some residents are dealing with the issues. It's at the end of its lifetime, um, and it, tell you the truth, it's hard to keep it running because it's so old. But we think it's got at least two years left in it, which will give us enough time to build a new water plant. Vandegrift says they just received an $8 million grant from the state to build a new water treatment facility and install new water lines. But Taylor says she's been hearing that for years. So I got another three years of $130 a month times 12. I mean, I'm not going to add it up. I'm sure people can get the gifs of how much money I'm going to spend in the next three years on nasty water. Vandegrift says the water is tested every month as required by the state. We looked at the most recent test and it shows no contaminants in the water. What it is, is an iron bacteria. It's actually, for the most part, harmless. Taylor says she doesn't care what the tests say because she sees her water every day. They, they give us these reports all the time, oh, our water's good, water's good. No, it's not. They can tell me all day long it's not. But when I can see it coming out of my faucet brown, and I can see the stuff that's coming out of the junk out of my faucet, and it is clogging up my lines, your water is not good. Vandegrift says the new water lines and treatment plant will be completed in two to three years. Of course, many of the residents tell me they're frustrated that they may have to deal with the situation for that time. Cody Adams, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.